Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from Vulcan Gas Company here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony! You guys ready to fuck some shit up tonight? Yippee! Make some noise for Red Band, everybody. Hey, Come everybody! On. Co-creator of the Joe Rogan Experience, my co-host here for a very long time. You are at Kill Tony, the number one live podcast in the world. Are you guys happy to be here? What the fuck's up? Brought to you by the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose, the two best strip clubs in the world, found here in Austin, Texas. You know what else is from Austin? Deep Eddie Vodka, proud sponsor of Kill Tony. If you're drinking vodka, drink Deep Eddie Vodka. Austin Zone. And how about a hand for the band, huh? Am I right? What the fuck? These guys are real professional musicians. That's the Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey Kill Tony Band. Make some noise for Michael Gonzalez on the drums. John Dees on the keys. Matt Muling on the electric guitar. And the great D Madness right behind me on the bass. Very, very exciting stuff. Uh, amazing, amazing times ahead of us. Before we start tonight's episode, here's a little bit more about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you here right now. Hey, y'all. You might not know this, but when I'm not being the host of the number one live podcast in the world, what I've been doing for the last 16 years is being a professional stand-up comedian, and I'm excited to say that I'm back out on tour again. August 26th and 27th, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. September 8th through the 10th, I'm back at West Palm Beach, Florida. September 29th through October 1st, Nashville, Tennessee. October 11th and 12th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. October 14th and 15th, I am in Boston, Massachusetts. November 4th and 5th, New York, New York. December 9th and 10th, I'll be performing in Arlington, Texas. January 13th and 14th of 2023, I'm in Dallas, Texas. And February 9th and 10th of 2023, I'm in Houston, Texas. Tickets available at TonyHinchcliffe.com. You guys ready to start tonight's episode or what, huh? You guys are in for such a treat. Our two guests tonight, our two guests, it is both of their first times as guests on the show. Two of my favorite comedians, two people that I've waited a long time to have as guests on this show. Make some noise for the great Ian Fidance and Ty Rivera, everybody. Yeah. Guys, make some fucking noise. That's Ian, that's Ty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Two of my favorites, two people that I absolutely love. Welcome to the show, uh, guys. How Thank are you? you? Thanks for having me, Tony. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm pumped to have you, Ian. Uh, famously from New York, the B and Ian podcast, and by guys with uh, joke assassin. Uh, Zach Amico, yeah. who we always have a lot of fun with on the show. He's the best. So I'm pumped to have you. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited, man. Austin's great. Yeah. You can smoke indoors, have guns, and uh, <laughs> reminds me of New York and that it's being overrun by homeless. So That's right. <laughs> I'm very excited. That's right, we do. We have a lot of guns here. Ty Rivera is here. Hi, Ty. Hello, Tony. Ty and I have been doing stand-up comedy together for over 15 years. That is correct. He was there when I started. Uh, he was one of the uh, one of the best on the fucking um, on on the circuit. And look, look at thank that. you, sir. I'm stressed tonight. I locked myself out of Tim Dillon's house. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, so oh I'm shit. Down from that. <laughs> Oh my God! That that castle out in uh yeah. Yep, that's uh, the one. Wow, you I'm locked in the slaves' quarters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that the dungeon he has? Does he have a dungeon? Yeah, or? he has a little back house where he keeps the Mexicans. Yeah, he's like, go sleep on that sex swing, Ty. I won't bother you. He can afford better whores. Yeah, <laughs> he can. He Tim is making it. His Netflix special comes out tomorrow night. By the way, everybody, Tim Dillon. Yeah. 
Ty Rivera has the Unbothered podcast with Ty Rivera, and it is both of your first times on the show, so let me give you a rundown. A bunch of comedians signed up before this show to get the chance to perform 60 seconds on the stage. If I, pro- if I pull their name out, they perform 60 seconds uninterrupted of stand-up comedy. You know their time is up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means they have to wrap it up then or else they bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. You guys ready to start this show or what, huh? Look at this fucking audience in front of us tonight. It's an old ass crowd. Oh shit, look at this guy fucking coming in on testosterone. Wow. Look at that. He is one color tonight. That red hat blends right in. Oh my God. You're from New York. Look, he looks like a constipated Aaron Berg. Look at this guy in the Texas <laughs> Rangers hat. That is incredible. Looks Holy like he owns shit. Every gym in Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so red? What the fuck? You fall asleep on your buddy's jet ski or something? What the hell's going on over here? Shrooms. Shrooms. Okay. That's All what right. happens. Welcome to Austin, pussy. <laughs> All right, we're going to have fun here tonight. We're going to start it with one of our elite regulars on the show. This is a guy that has the horrible, horrible job of having to write and perform a brand new minute every single week when he's not doing arenas and theaters all around the country with me and Joe Rogan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new minute from the great Hans Kim. This is 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 Hans Kim. Kim. What's up? It's good to be here. I love hanging out with white people. White people are crazy. I was talking to this one. He was like, jet fuel costs $6 a gallon and it takes 300 gallons to get to Dallas. I was like, oh, so 1800 bucks? He was like, well, we'll never know. <laughs> My brain is purely for frivolities. But I uh, love the whites. I love how white supremacists always have to get tattoos about their white supremacy. I didn't realize how much white supremacy had in common with the Tasmanian devil. (laughs) But I love seeing a white supremacist tattoo. It's like their skin is saying, don't forget, I'm the best. (laughs) Don't forget to be racist today. (laughs) Like, shouldn't it come from the heart? (laughs) (laughs) But uh, hopefully that's my time. Thank you. Wow, Hans Kim. Hell yeah. Look at the smile on this boy's face. He is literally happy to be here. How are you, Hans? I'm amazing, Tony. Tell us more about why you're so amazing. I spent another amazing weekend with my comedy heroes. Mm -hmm. Um, You guys made fun of me a lot, but I know I was out of love. Yeah, it was. A lot. We made fun of you a lot. Tell us some of the highlights of what we made fun of you about. You uh, bullied me into getting a haircut. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) Oh, like a professional haircut, not one that he does? Yeah, exactly. One of his fucking hoes that he has come down, gets him a free haircut. Isn't that true? So that these groaners in the audience, tell them, confess. I have a lot of hoes. (laughs) (laughs) They serve me. You're no. talking about the haircut, but you're completely skipping the fact that you stole more food on the plane from people around you. <laughs> yeah. French, he had a full order. When he gets an opportunity to eat a meal that he doesn't have to pay for, he gorges himself like you've never seen. It's unbelievable. He has, the, he has like that hot dog eating gene in him or something like that. You know what I mean? Kobayashi blood runs through him. Uh, so um, what else, Hans? I just thought it was funny because uh, you were like, we're st- recording a special and your hair looks like dog shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, you were like. You well, know? now that you have a haircut, the joke doesn't work, Hans. <laughs> well, then you were like, even the bodyguard has better haircuts than you do. Yes, and everybody laughed because it was blatantly true. <laughs> Again, these, you can't roast yourself after the fact. <laughs> like, the jokes aren't working because you got a haircut. You should be saying, thank you, Tony. I already, yeah, I say that a lot. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. It's good. You're goddamn right you do. Crazy, you keep saying that and you keep getting work. That's unbelievable how that works in show business. That's amazing. What else is going on in life, Hans? Um, I have been using a lot of money. Um, I <laughs> what have you been using it for? I spent uh, $424 flying the Florida waitress out here. So. Whoa. Damn. 
Graham. Is she here right now? No, next week. Oh, my goodness. Is it Tallahassee? No, Naples. Wow. Which is even worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. When nor normally, when a guy proudly flies a woman out here from Naples, it's Italy, but not you. <laughs> Taking shortcuts in life. Flew a girl out from Paris, Tony. Paris, France. Uh, I know, Paris, Texas. Fuck, I fucked that up. Uh... So is she, she's not here now. When is she no, coming? Next week. Oh my goodness! Yeah, she's wow. beautiful. What what do we have? To, she is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do we have to look forward to with this girl? What's some interesting things about her so that we're forewarned? Uh, she uh, is good at blowjobs. Uh, <laughs> she's good at blowjobs. Yeah. You have to be to get out of Naples. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't take much to be good at blowjobs when you're blowing Asians, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, it has begun. Mom sweet, sweet momentum. <laughs> Fuck yes. Whoa. So true. He would know. Smaller penises on Asians is a thing. We're Absolutely made. incredible. We're designed for pleasure. All those. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Now, Hans, you famously don't like blowjobs. We've talked about this what? before. I know. It's very, very bizarre. <laughs> yeah, I famously don't like blowjobs. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> oh, uh... D-Madness. I tried to fist bump the blind guy. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> We have to make a we have to make a compilation reel of guests trying to fist bump the ass. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Sometimes he fist bumps back. That's the scary part. I'm like, wait a second, what? How does he know? <laughs> it is. It's it gets scary sometimes. Wait, why don't you like blowjobs? Because I feel like women t treat the penis like it's a vagina. They, like, start licking it. It's like, I don't like it getting licked. Oh, what the shit. fuck else are they supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> you have girls that just lick yours. They don't do the enclosing, over-the-top, uh, classic blowjob that we all picture when we picture blowjob. They treat your penis more like a clit. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's more of a you thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they think they're hooking up with a hot Asian lesbian. Yeah. They're like, all right, there's a lot, to, a lot of pussy to work with here, but... You're the hottest <laughs> Asian trans man yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Instead of saying you have a small dick, you should just say you have a big pussy. Yeah. Got a big old fatty down there. Yeah. Those sweet, sweet ball-shaped meat curtains of yours. Have you ever made a girl puke on your dick, or was it just like a little burp? Or, or what the you know? fuck, Red Band? What the fuck is wrong with you, Red Band? What is wrong with you? Oh my We're all God. here doing comedy, and you're trying to gross everybody out. No, you this can't. Is, this is a professional show. No, you Red can't. Band. You can't puke on a tic tac. Come on, man. <laughs> Unbelievable that you would ask something. But but seriously though, have you have you has anyone ever puked on your penis? <laughs> No. Is anyone ever just disgusted? <laughs> <laughs> or does she just use it to pick between our teeth? <laughs> it's probably true. We can, we can confirm that. Uh, Ty is getting horny. What? Uh, a Ty is getting horny. Oh, shit. Look at that. Absolutely. I don't think you're his type. <laughs> I get the feeling that we're, we're, maybe I'm wrong. I don't want to no, assume. No, the white supremacist he jokes about is who it's my type. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. Look at that. Wow. He likes being punished. I didn't understand a lot of the jokes that, that you did Me tonight. Either. Did you say the word provalities at one point? Provalities. Provalities. And, and, and what's your plan with that word in the comedy world? <laughs> Get her done. It's a high risk. Is that, your, is that Red Band has a good point. Is this your new get her done? You're going to just drop provalities after big punchlines? Provalities. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, it was, a, it was an experiment. Uh, <laughs> there you go. You minute. Asians and you experiments. I'm telling you. We've seen this before. Okie dokie. I guess we haven't. All right. Anyway, uh, edit, edit. Hard edit there. 
And action. Uh, Hans, with great performance. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Hans, we absolutely love you. That's an amazing new minute. It is such, such, such a challenge to come out and start yeah. a comedy show with a new minute every week. Hans, Hans him is the fucking man. Working you guys. regularly all around the country, absolutely continuously. <laughs> Probably one of the most working comedians right now. There he goes, just getting tonight started for us. One more time for Hans Kemp. And to the bucket we go for the first time tonight. This could be somebody's first time ever on stage. It could be a new legend in the making. All the people, all of these regulars, everybody ever was at one point just a name pulled out of the bucket. So anything can happen. This is a minute of stand-up comedy from Luke Moore, everyone. Luke Moore is first out of the bucket here on Kill Tony, live in Austin, Texas. No real movement yet. There's a lot of people back there. Luke Moore. We got movement. Somebody coming? Oh, Whoa, here we go. Here he comes. Oh, the hair is flowing. What's up, y'all? I'm from West Texas. Uh, my mother is a tumbleweed. My father a cactus. That's how they met, actually. Wind. Okay. Yeah, where I'm from, you're either book smart or dirt road smart. I'm dirt road smart. I love dirt. Um, <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, you know, being in the big city, I gotta watch, like, how I talk, being from West Texas. Like, I learned the hard way that if you say the word queer with a Texan accent, it becomes offensive again. Like, people don't want to hear, choir? What are you, choir? What are you, a bunch of choirs? Yeah, um... <laughs> this is not my intention. I want to be friends with everybody. L, G, B, T, Q, plus size models. I'm not. Okay, thank you. All right, Luke Moore. Very interesting. This is your first time on this show, right? Yes. Yeah. You look like you should be funnier. <laughs> he got a, he looks like he was in Leonard Skinner, and like Leonard Skinner, his act died up there. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Tiny Tim's kid sister. Tiny Tanya. <laughs> you were out of breath, Luke, through that entire performance. Have you ever thought about not sprinting and jumping on the stage at full pace? You ever think about taking your time and trying to execute a little bit more? Or well, do, you think it, do, you th do you think it's like a Fear Factor style race? <laughs> what? I was fucking excited. What yeah. took you so long to get up here? Yeah, I'm it is incredible. Which intersection in town did you come from? Yeah. Because we waited a long time, did, and then all of a sudden you, a guy, full did blast. To, did you have to zip up your tent before you got here? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for waiting. Indeed. I we didn't have a choice. I was next door. I was just, like, lollygagging. I was drinking a whiskey Coke and, like... Oh, wow, look at you. What a tough yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Luke, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Ten years. No, no, come on. Really? Since I was 17, yeah. Wow, and now you're 27. I am. Okay, incredible. What, uh... <laughs> what are some highlights of your ten years in the uh, business of stand-up comedy? Not this. <laughs> yeah. That is true. You, you cannot should, count this. You should play the Hulk theme song when he walks off stage. <laughs> oh, we just, I mean, nothing impressive, just like enjoying. I lived in San Francisco for a little bit. It's that just... explains it. <laughs> Why San Francisco? What made you move from West Texas to San Francisco? Literally the polar opposite. Uh... I just thought like I would learn to be cool there. Oh, wow. How'd that, <laughs> how'd that go for you? How do you feel like that went for you, Luke? I feel like they didn't think I was cool. So right. I left. Time right. to try a new town. <laughs> yeah. So how long have I, you lived in Austin? I feel like that's what Austin is for. 
Is for what? Is for like when no one likes you. Nope. You just... Nope. Nope. Jesus. Nope. Just move somewhere else. Nope. You couldn't be more wrong about that. <laughs> totally the opposite, actually. A lot of people that are really, really liked to move here from cities that used to be famously the hubs of. Uh, I think you could be fun. Just be more confident in your act. You know, Don't take you... the energy that you took jumping on here <laughs> yeah. into being better. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'll try to be better at comedy. <laughs> It'd be so funny if, like, ten years and one week, and he just started being hilarious because of that. He's like, once I stopped jumping on the stage, I fucking started destroying. I love it. You're like a Gallagher that's just, r instead of smashing watermelons, you're just rough on your own knees. <laughs> Luke, ten years in the game, I gotta know. Give us your best, like, quick one-liner or like one quick joke. Ten years, I have to know, for the life of me, I have to know what your best joke ever is. I'm going to give you one shot here to do it right now. So I, I was at HEB today and I was looking at their... <laughs> I was looking at their uh, hot dogs. They have uh, kosher meat hot dogs. They're called Hebrew Nationals. I was going to get some, but I went with the knockoff brand, and Frank's. Oh, uh, no. No, that's not your best joke. That's not your best that joke. That was the best in yeah. 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that's like... Weird Al just ate it. <laughs> wow, look at that. Red Band putting it together. Look wow. at this guy sitting side by side the master for nine and a half years. It's starting to rub off finally on you a little bit. <laughs> It's food uh, poisoning. Luke, tell us something interesting about your life. How do you make money? I just drive. Like, I deliver car parts. Um, I, do you have, did something just, happen to you? Did, some, did, was, did you, like, see something when you were a child or something? Like, what type of trauma is going on here? Because, again, you look like you should be so interesting. But then you open your fucking mouth, and then we find did any, out. Did anything cool happen in San Francisco? Um, of course not. <laughs> of course not, this fucking I guy. I went to Kill Tony one time in San Francisco. Oh, okay. One of the famous Kill Tony Mania episodes, I'm sure, right? Where'd you run from that time? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Luke, what do you do for fun? Like, when you like go out at night, you're drinking whiskey and Cokes next door. <laughs> so cool. What else? Well, I don't know. I like karaoke. I like watching sports. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm pretty boring. I'm just, like, a, you know, a normal guy, I guess. I don't know. I like sports. I like, uh, you know. Uh-huh. I like... Kill Tony. Okay, that's not gonna save you, dude. Stop fucking answering with my show as your answer. But do you like ZipRecruiter? <laughs> All right. Red Band. God damn it. Use the promo code Kill Tony and save Tony. Anyway, uh, Luke Moore. I gotta figure this out. I mean, god damn You're it. like Luke Less. <laughs> Just, you're great. Just be confident. Tell us something with confidence. Like, no, um, or, uh, like, what's a joke you got locked and loaded? Yeah, you started to do that Hebrew national joke, and people started sort of giggling, yeah. and it, like, threw you off. You're like, what is yeah. that unrecognized sound? <laughs> what is ha, ha, ha? They're heckling me. They all are saying the yeah. same thing. Ha, ha. Yeah. I don't know. I've never had this. Ten years in the game. <laughs> I do. For the life of me, I don't wow. know what that sound means. These boos sound different. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your comedy idol? Is a cruise ship? Uh, <laughs> Red Band. Red Band. Red Band snorted some Adderall tonight before the show. Red Band. <laughs> Woo! I mean, holy shit! You ever have brain damage of any kind? <laughs> Are you high? Yeah. Not high. <laughs> well, lie next time. 
Is the, have you ever been diagnosed with anything uh, from a... Un, undiagnosed across the board. Okay. All right. Do you have any, do you have any uh, semi-automatic weapons on you right now? <laughs> I'm not much of a gunman. Good. Thank God for that. What about a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? No. When's the last time uh, you were uh, intimate with a woman? Probably like five months ago. <laughs> five months ago, Probably okay. Probably like sometime this year, like in March or All right, April. and uh, where did you find this girl? You woke up and she was already tied up in your bed? <laughs> I don't know how she got there, Tony. <laughs> it was Hinge. The what? The dating app Hinge. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Do you have anything on Hinge? Like dating stuff, huh? Imagine that bio. Me like sports. <laughs> yeah. Kill Tony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Running at fast paces. All right, well. I okay. love running and jumping. <laughs> what? I love running and jumping. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Luke. You tried your best. Ten years in the fucking game. My mind is completely blown. Uh, but I was I was always scared that when I go and kill Tony, you would ask me that, and I'd say ten years, and then y'all would play the piano music. Yeah, yeah. Well, today your dreams happen. came true, everybody. Yeah. That's what we dream, do here on Dream kill Big, Tony. Luke. Take one of those. That's a small joke book by the great Bones Eye. Little souvenir for you to keep for yourself. Real Texas leather. With the great Adrian Cavazos. No, no, no. He manifested that. <laughs> All right, back to the bucket we go. As you can see, thank you. As you can see, nothing here is planned. This is all improvised. Make some noise for your next comedian, Christian Copeland, everyone. Christian Woo! Copeland. Here we All go. right, here comes Christian at a steady, professional walking pace. Yes. One more time for Christian Copeland, everyone. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm originally from a small town in the south. Uh, I was talking to this girl from California the other day, and she was like, I can never be friends with somebody from the south. I was like, why? And she was like, because people from the south want everything to be straight and white. I was like, that's not true, okay? Have you seen their teeth? Um, because I'm from the South, I am a little bit conservative. Uh, like for me personally, there are only two sexes. Uh, it's the first time I had sex and the other time. Um, all right, well, the last joke's pretty long, so I'm probably gonna go over. But I, uh, a lot of people think that everybody in the South is racist. Uh, I don't think that's true. Uh, I think there's some truth to it, but like in my family growing up, there wasn't any racism. Uh, there was some racial confusion, you know? Like, I'll give you an example. My grandma's best friend is this Hispanic lady named Miss Lisa. And Miss Lisa's granddaughter was turning 15, so she had a birthday party. My grandma couldn't come, so she sent a card. She told me to go sign the card, and I go sign it, and I read what she wrote. And it said, happy birthday, Carmen. Sorry I couldn't make it to your quesadilla. <laughs> All right, guys, thank y'all. Wow, very good, Christian Copeland. My goodness. What's up, Tony? Welcome back. You've been on this show yes, once sir. before, Good to see correct? You. Twice before. Twice. Twice before. And yes, what, what have we found out about you the last two times that um, uh, you're on? Remind us of some highlights of your. We talk, first time, just talked a lot about that town that I was mentioning where I'm from, just uh -huh. a very small town in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, second time, Alex Jones was the guest, so I didn't do much talking. Right. And then, uh, right. I mentioned my birthday was 9 11, and then just like yep. 14 minutes later, yep. I was off stage. He takes so. over after that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did he, th did he also think you were lying about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Christian, you uh, came in, good jokes the Thanks. whole way through, rock Thanks, solid, man. and my guess is you've only probably been doing it one tenth as long as the last comedian. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been there. doing stand-up uh, comedy? Almost four, I think. Three and okay, a half. Okay, okay. Like yeah, started Definitely. in Houston and so then came over here about a year and a half right, ago. The last guy was, has done it three times longer than him. For those of you a little bit slow at math, <laughs> um, the last guy who bombed 
And then when given the opportunity to do another joke, bombed again. <laughs> but we're here now with Christian. Welcome, Christian. Why are you dressed like a uh, off-duty Roseanne Barr? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is just, you know, this is just what I wear. I love it. What do you do for work? Uh, right now, I just do like DoorDash and stuff. Yeah, DoorDash, Instacart, just anything where I can kind of make my own schedule. Right. Yeah. And what do you do for fun? Um, lately, I've been like really into like getting old like furniture and like renovating it, like sanding it down, painting it, shit like that. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Just, All right. I'm not that good at it, but uh, yeah, I've been trying to like when I'm DoorDash and I'll drop something off and somebody put like a dresser in there their lawn and I'll just like take it and yeah. oh wow so you collect trash yeah for the most part nice. I live in a studio apartment so it's like it's just all building up on my balcony <laughs> wow uh-huh. okay do you have like an Etsy page or any way no, like are no, you no, selling this no. unfortunately yeah. I am heterosexual but I do not have an Etsy page the fuck's so wrong with Etsy <laughs> Etsy's hey, right. a good website. I got website. a few good things off Etsy. Yeah, yeah, it's an attempt at a joke, but yeah, Etsy is actually a really good website. There right. Go. So what do you do with this <laughs> stuff exactly? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fell for it. <laughs> Set a little bear trap there for him. <laughs> uh, what do you do with the shit that you renovate? Like I said, for the most part, it's like just sanding down anything that, any old paint. No, I'm saying what do you do with it after oh, you renovate, renovate it? it? And then just try to sell it. Put it on Facebook Marketplace. Try to sell it. Facebook if it doesn't, marketplace. nobody buys it. Do you want to plug your Facebook Marketplace right now? Not, Facebook's just my name, just Christian Copeland. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. all right. No one's Instagram Etsy, is Christian happens. C. Comedy. What's up, boss? Try Etsy. Try Rather Etsy. <laughs> okay. I got you. Marketplace. For the most part, I like just doing it. Like, I'm not looking to become, like, Let's I'm go. not looking to make much. I like doing it. Yeah, it's cool. Right. So, okay. Yeah. You like That's doing it, but you don't care about any success. You're like the last comedian <laughs> of comedy. Yeah, That's much. amazing. Now, has anyone ever gotten mad when you've like <laughs> taken their stuff or gotten in trouble door dashing, but no. trash picking? Mm-mm, not yet. No, it has no. not. I don't. I mean, I haven't done like millions of projects. I mean, I've probably picked up like four or five things. They're pretty time consuming. So it's, I haven't done like a whole bunch of different stuff. But just right. a couple tables. Yeah, and it's an like incredibly that. boring part of this interview. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We talked enough about your arts and crafts, all right? Yes, man. Uh, Christian, let's talk about. Uh, you said you're a heterosexual. Yes. Okay. Let's For talk about that. A while When's now. the last time you were uh, in the bed with a lady? I mean, I have a girlfriend, so it happens. You have a girlfriend. Yeah. It happens. How long have you been with her? Three. Almost, yeah, three years. Oh wow. Three in October. That's yeah. a long time. What does she do? Same thing. She, so she, walks dogs. Shit? she walks dogs also. She walks dogs and does like DoorDash on the side. God yeah. damn. Look at you guys just out there awesome. making love with Dude. two high school diplomas. Just oh, fucking yeah. getting it done. Holy shit. There. Walking dogs, dashing doors. Fucking Stealing trash. I was, Stealing I was trash. Sem- I was a semester away from graduating with a dental hygiene degree and I right. dropped out to do comedy. Why? So. Because if I had a plan B, I would just do that. It's easier than comedy. You should. So, I just know myself too well. Like, comedy's hard. And if, if you don't make your, that be your only option, you may not make it. So, uh, I would definitely have taken the easier road. So how, about, how, about your, how about your girlfriend? What dreams is she chasing? Because she seems like a real do-nothing. She, uh, she's going to go to esthetician school. Oh, okay. That is yeah, oh, that's wow. a pretty good one out here in Austin. So, so she's been in rehab before? She's going <laughs> to... It's a rehab thing. <laughs> Has she been addicted to drugs? No. She's never, no. Been. No. She's never right. been addicted to drugs. No. Um, okay. I keep her in line. Yeah. It, incredible. Esthetician. So is she doing that? Is she moving forward? No, we're forward saving up for her to go to school. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is like a white men can't jump. Remember that? How they were saving <laughs> up to get On my last interview, you literally made me jump, like have a jump contest really? versus Alex Jones. <laughs> <Yes>. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I kind of remember that. Yeah. We were really, really high. <laughs> Incredible. Christian, tell us another fun fact about your life that we haven't talked um, about the last two times you were on. I was raised on what I call a weenie dog farm. Uh, my parents just bred dachshunds my entire life growing up, so we'd have like 30 dogs that we just had to take care of. Kind of ruined the whole pet experience. <laughs> wow. Red I mean, Band thinks that's the start of a hell? bestiality <laughs> porn. That is the... Classic so, porn hub sound effect. I have two cats now. I'm a big cat guy. I don't oh. love dogs as much yeah. anymore because it was more of like a chore growing up. But wow. Maybe down the road I'll start to like them more. But yeah. Damn. So you guys have two cats. Two cats, yes. And you guys have, you guys are just hustling around. Yeah. Just trying to make it, dude. My goodness. What's in your refrigerator right now? Oh. Um, nice. Yeah. Right now, uh, Every once guys. in a while. 
You gotta bust out a que- new question every 10 years. <laughs> What's something that we would find strange about your refrigerator? Uh, my girlfriend puts aloe vera in the fridge, so there's that in there. What? Um, Why yeah, she, she uses it for her hair, so uh-huh. she keeps it in the fridge. Oh, and that's the tricks. She's drunk. Yeah, it could be. Lady, stop yeah. responding to things that you're hearing on this show. You're <laughs> so incredibly annoying. That's it's unbelievable. And of course, there's just two Red Bulls and three White Claws in front of her. I mean, it's literally these people. They come, they mix cheap fucking alcohol, and they're surprised. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. White Claw's not a sponsor anymore. That's okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Oof, that was close. Uh, I've got some cheeses. I really like cheese. Oh, Ooh. wow. Very interesting. I yeah. like cheese. What's your favorite Yeah, color? what kind of yeah. cheese do you have? I think I, like I just this. go just like the sharpest cheddar you can get. Damn. Yeah. Look at you. I don't get into the fancy stuff. Well, you got to get some Delice de Bourgogne. Okay, it's that's a, a French word. goat cheese. Yes. Wow, yes. French goat cool. cheese. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you could hang. Whatever. <laughs> uh, dude, no, I DoorDash. I can't get any of that stuff. <laughs> Cheddar sh- so sharp it would cut God himself. <laughs> <laughs> Christian. Yeah. Incredible. Well, nice uh, nice to have you on this show Appreciate again. It. You Thanks already have a back, joke dude. book, I'm guessing, right? It's my back pocket. Yes, sir. Right, both sizes? No, I don't have a small one. There you go. Well, yeah, then you're batting a, a thousand. Just, there you go. Christian Copeland, everybody. Thank you Christian. Guys. Christian! You know what? I think we should do something extra, extra, extra fun right now. Does that sound like fun to you guys, huh? I'm going to bring up one of the regulars on this show. This guy normally, famously, very famously closes every episode of the show but you're about to get them right now in the fucking middle of the show one of the greatest regulars in the history of kill tony the man with the most new minutes ever on the show this is the return of the big red machine william montgomery here he is everybody live in the flesh the one the only William Montgomery. <laughs> Guys, make some noise. It's William Montgomery, everybody. Nancy Pelosi's boobs are so big, progressives want to tax them. She has giant tits. Look on Pornhub. She's all over Pornhub. Uh, Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson broke up, but I'm pretty sure he'll be back because he lost his watch and Kim's pussy. (laughs) Kim Kardashian has a giant pussy. Look it up on Pornhub. (laughs) The Chinese Yulin Dog Meat Festival where they slaughter thousands of dogs for food recently happened, which is weirdly enough just a typical dinner at Red Band's mom's house. She eats dog food. Look her fucking nasty ass up on Pornhub. (laughs) The other day, Elizabeth Warren said that if she had a dick, she'd be president. Really? Just get one, bitch. It's 2022. (laughs) Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in, showing how it's done. Bing, bang, boom. The Memphis Strangler does it again. (laughs) Welcome to another interview portion of the show, William. How you feeling? Very good. I uh, uh, did six sold-out shows with Duncan Trussell in San Diego this past weekend, which is wonderful. I'm legitimately afraid of this guy right now. I like you so much. I'm I'm legitimately afraid of your fucking ass right now. You're dressed oh. like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Now, William, if I could comment, this is a very interesting look you have here tonight. <laughs> the thing that's really standing out to me, and I've seen you every single week for the last, what, three, four years or something, yeah. that belt looks like it is made out of, like, something that would be attached to, like, a bag or something. Like, it looks like a strap. What the fuck is that? It's actually, weirdly enough, it's my strangling strap. This is literally... (laughs) Wow. It's so weird you said that, Tony. This is literally what I had in both my fucking hands in La Jolla this past weekend. 
when I was quite literally strangling the fucking life out of these fucking people. <laughs> yeah, I use this belt, though. It's perfect for strangling. Well, I mean, since you brought it up, what is your favorite part of strangling other people? Like, what's the moment that brings you the most joy? Just probably one of the, the final moments of their life. There's normally a lot of weird gasping going on. Their eyes get a little... I don't know, kind of hazy looking. I swear to God, when I look into those people's fucking eyes and their eyes start kind of slowly start glazing over, it is like the best fucking... It's better than sex. It's better than anything. <laughs> what's, what's the best thing someone said before the final exit? Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the times it's like, please stop. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, who are you? <laughs> Oh my God, how did you find me? Oh my God, who are you? It's a lot of, oh my God, who are you? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of, who are you? Do you feel, do you, do you feel like sexual pleasure when you're taking these people's lives? Mm. Or is it mostly just... It's, it's not necessarily... <laughs> huh, what'd you say? Business or pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> William Montgomery, a force to be reckoned with now. You're traveling all the time now. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Working absolutely continuously now. Do you have a little bit of a limp? I do. I fucking uh, ran 30 minutes on a treadmill last Wednesday, and I'm in horrible pain now. I've literally been in horrible pain. I don't know what to do. Wow. I'm literally in a horrible amount of pain. I can barely walk up those steps. Wow. Okay. Why is that so funny? <laughs> have you seen a doctor or something like that? Have you I don't have health insurance, so. Oh, really? Why is that funny? <laughs> God, look at this fucking drunk dumbass right here. My goodness, are you just yelling at a random guy over there? Yeah, he's giving me weird vibes over there. Look at that. He might be guy. an orthoscopic surgeon. Are you a surgeon? Oh, say something funny and you'll laugh. Somebody get that dumbass out of here. Please. Uh, <laughs> Strangle him. Get him. Have you, have you, did you think that maybe you uh, tweaked your knee a little bit doing any of these stranglings that you've been doing, William? Yeah, I mean, I totally messed it up because I'm down on my hands and knees when I'm strangling the people. So it really, wow. I think it exacerbated the uh, You're soreness. You're on your hands and knees? knees? Sucking Why? dick. Oh, wow. Red huh? band. Red band with some... He sucks them off before he chokes them. What? Okay. <laughs> Why would he do that? That's one of his things. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, way to so kill the fucking any, vibe. If anybody's here. interested, Red Band's teaching an improv course this week. At, uh, <laughs> follow him on Instagram at Red Band. Yes, and get on your knees and suck. <laughs> you just say sucks dick, everybody will laugh. I promise. Just say my mom, everyone will laugh. I promise. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit, dumbass. Yeah, your mom's yeah. a fucking whore. Yeah. She's a nice lady. She's I don't know a why nice he does lady. This. Yeah. I, I don't know why. You're the. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to go into it. I don't know why he <laughs> no, does I have this. to stop. I'm worried she's going to die soon because she is so old and yeah. I'm going to be telling these jokes and I, then I really am going to feel bad. So, Red Band, I'm sorry. No, no. I, 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 <laughs> Somehow that's the meanest thing you've ever said about his mom. Was wired into your apology about the whole thing. That was crazy. You are evil. Oh, look how much joy he gets from this. This is incredible. <laughs> All right, William. Well, you did it again. Another new minute. You jolted the room wide awake with your energy. Uh, nice you're a goddamn monster. Thank nice you so much. There goes William Montgomery, everybody. We're right on schedule. Back to the your bucket we go. You guys having fun tonight, huh? All right. We're going to meet another comedian together, and his name is Harrison Broadstreet. Oh, wow, from the audience, a big pop. You guys know Harrison? What is happening? Oh, okay. Just a bunch of random ass, weirdly dressed people getting up at the same time. Here he is, everybody. Make some noise for Harrison Broadstreet, everyone. 
All right. Um, I thanked somebody for their service the other night. I'm never doing that again. It turns out hookers don't like it when you thank them for their service. So, uh, yeah, women also don't like it when you assume they're a hooker on an airport. So that's uh, all bad. Yeah, uh, I went to the strip club with an ex-girlfriend. Don't ever do this. She got a lap dance. She paid for me to have a lap dance. She got all horned up and she's like, hey, do you want to have sex in here? And I was like, yeah, but could you ask her for me? Like it would <laughs> sound better coming from you. And I don't have that much money, so I don't know. Uh, a girl one time, she tried to flirt with me using board games. This was the weirdest thing that ever happened. She goes, let's flirt using board games. I was like, I don't know what this means. She goes, I'm like Yahtzee. I like to be shaken up, spun around and dumped. <laughs> And I was like, I'm, I like Parcheesi then, because I don't know the rules to this fucking game. I don't know. And I'm probably going to cheat, honestly. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, I was with a girl the other night, and we were hooking up. We were in the throes of passion. And I leaned in to kiss her, and she goes, I only kiss people who I feel a deep connection with. And I was like, I'm as deep as I can go. So, uh, yeah. All right, Harrison Broadstreet. Coming out, doing jokes. Hell yeah. Welcome, Harrison. How are you? This is your first time on this show. It is. Yeah, it's my first time. I would remember that face if you've been on before. Yeah. You look like a grown-up, depressed Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that before? Yeah, that, no, not. That's a good one. Harrison, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Uh, three and a half years. Three and a half years. Where at? All of it here in Austin? Springfield, Missouri. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Springfield, Missouri. And yeah. What's the comedy scene like out there? Uh, real small. We have one club. And it's uh, called... The Blue Room Comedy Club. Right, right. Uh, yeah, a uh, really small room. And uh, yeah, so I'm down here for the week and just try to get up as many places as I can. So. That's amazing. Yeah. So when did you arrive to Austin, Texas? Uh, I flew in today, actually. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You don't fly very often, do you? Uh, no, not really. Right. Okay. What gave it away? Uh, because you said that you flew in today, not that you got here today. You said, I yeah, flew no, here yeah. today as right. though we thought that you may have driven or something like that. You were very proud. Southwest? <laughs> no? American? American yeah. Airlines, of yeah. course. Um, all right. So, Harrison, uh, what exactly do you do for work in Springfield, Missouri? Um, I was a behavioral interventionist at an elementary school for like wow. three years. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, and then I quit that to focus on comedy, and I have a remote job now as a... a Parts ordering training specialist. Parts ordering training. What are you ordering parts for? I don't know. I start next week, so we'll. Oh, okay. <laughs> what if he's ordering the parts that Luke delivers? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a small world. Could I, be. I think it's semi truck parts. So I don't need to know anything about it. I just need to know how to use a computer program. Right. So that's, okay. I, what do you do for fun, Harrison? What's going on out there in Springfield, Missouri? Is it anything like uh, we've seen on Ozark? <laughs> so like that's like the lakes that's like where people go to like party and stuff like uh all the covid shots of people partying in the in the like uh hot tubs and shit like that's the ozarks and shit uh but how Springfield, far are you from that it's like an hour and a half two hours something like right. that right you don't go there often no nah, i never enjoyed that it felt uh right billy ish what do you enjoy uh, I play baseball, and that's really about Grown-up baseball? Adult men's league baseball. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that. You a catcher? <laughs> no, pitcher. Yeah. Really? You're a pitcher? No, I'm not. No, I'm an oh. infielder. Uh, yeah, you don't look you're like a pitcher. Second baseman shortstop, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. so you're probably good. I was-ish, kind of. I played in college, and I'm just like What college? To, a small, itty-bitty... Hannibal LaGrange University. Oh, my God. Jesus. Was this a fucking Hogwarts? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Hannibal LaGrange? What? It's in Hannibal, Missouri, and it's... Uh, we play baseball, but it's on uh, broomsticks, and uh, you fly around. You catch the ball. <laughs> it's the DeVry of Missouri. Yeah, it was a Southern Baptist college, and... Wow. Uh, are you religious at all? No. They were the yeah. only place that gave me a scholarship so that was well right. that's not saying much <laughs> what was the scholarship twenty dollars <laughs> close it was not much it was how uh, dare you speak of lagrange <laughs> like that but uh, hannibal missouri that's mark twain that's his they love him there they have a whole mark twain exhibit they have a whole downtown block wait mark twain went there he is from there he lives he, he was from hannibal missouri right so they love mark twain they have a whole rock mural Wow. Get into town. It's fucking bizarre. Okay. You have a voice like you're delivering jokes even when you're not delivering jokes. 
because I'm real anxious right now, and I'm trying not to... Why? Why are you so anxious right now? I don't know. Because I'm an anxious person, and this is an anxious environment. What, do you, what else do you do where sometimes you get anxious? Give us an example of other times that you get anxious in life. Um, I sweat. It's not too bad right now, so that's No, good. I'm not asking what happens when you get anxious. I'm asking what are some other life situations in which you find yourself getting anxious. Like ordering a sandwich. Anyway. What? Oh, very good. That's okay. funnier than any joke you told. <laughs> yeah. That's, because yeah. that was like based in reality, not yep. this like, mine was in an airport and a hooker blew me and my girlfriend yeah. was there. Like, what? It wasn't what are you fic- talking about? It wasn't fiction. Like, yeah. I went to Hannibal LaGrange University. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, well, right. I don't like ordering sandwiches. I... <laughs> what are we talking about here? You mean like at Subway? Like when there's too many options. Like give me, the, like I want to order what's on the board. I don't want to have to like customize and do too many extra things. Well, you don't bring, have bring up to. a sandwich menu oh, for no, no, me. No. I want to see, yeah. I, I want to see this Let's guy see fucking sweat. sweat bullets yeah. right now. <laughs> Come on, Tony. Uh, no, man. Oh, no. oh, oh my God, pepper and cheenies. <laughs> Why? If what? you order online, it's so much easier. Like, this is the way. Yeah, it's an easy way to order What kind online. of PTSD flash... Did you get molested <laughs> yeah. by Jared? Like, yeah. why are you so <laughs> nervous? I, I refused to order pizzas when I was younger. My dad would be like, hey, we'll get a pizza tonight if you call in and order. And I was like, I'm not going to order. Oh, I my can't. God. You'd rather starve than order pizza? Well, I mean, he'd order it eventually. But, like, I just wasn't going to... I couldn't talk to somebody else about what I wanted. <laughs> You look like you sell cars in the 80s. I love it. I like you. Red Band's pretending like he's having trouble downloading the subway menu, which is already the background. I can just repeat it to you. I can repeat it to you if you want to. Website is so much faster. You can pull it up. I love it. Okay, fuck it. This is uh, moving too slowly. (laughs) Um, What's what's the most uh, stressful part of ordering a sandwich? Is it the cheese, the bread? He's about to pass out. Him, For those exactly. of you listening to this the poor podcast. kid's having a fucking flashback. His eyes yeah, just rolled into shit. the back of his asking. head. Honestly, it's waiting for it. It's wait, After you've ordered it, once you've gone through the whole thing, because Jimmy John's especially, they're not really great. At, like They just set a sandwich up there and walk off. Wow. And I don't want to be the guy who grabs somebody else's sandwich. I mean, dude, you have activated his Asperger's like yeah. I've never seen. How did you help kids out? Weren't you like it's, helping the I'm kids? I'm like, hey, man, I get it. It can be fucking weird sometimes. Like, Take a breath and you'll be fine. You know, it's, I can talk from an anxious... Experience and kids are anxious. That's what people don't get. You, know? you need medication. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, take it from Raza Agul over here. <laughs> 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 I mean, I am scared. <laughs> wow. Absolutely incredible. Have you ever been diagnosed with anything? Nope. I love it. We should have a fucking. We should have a therapist. I have. No. Doc, I, have I have Dr. Drew coming on. Soon. Oh yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We're a few weeks That's away great. from Dr. Drew. We're gonna fucking analyze some of these kids. I mean, I, my mom is a therapist. She's like really. What yeah. she say about your ordering anxiety? Yeah. I don't talk to her about that. I don't tell her that. Yeah. Why would you? I don't want to dig through that. I, yeah. It's hard enough to dig through it now. She mm-hmm. doesn't tell you you have anything. She's just like, no, it's totally normal. Go play baseball, honey. I know. I know you're 35. Go play. Just, How old are you? 29. 29. I'm How? just imagining him like having flashbacks <laughs> to a man like in Vietnam when they have ears around a necklace, but it's deli meats. <laughs> He's just like, I won't go back, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking the Battle of Carpaccio 2013. <laughs> I got this one in prosciutto. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Harrison Broad Street, congratulations on your uh, busy week here in Austin. You were lucky yeah, enough yeah. to get pulled out Good of the job, bucket. Man. Appreciate it. Here, Harrison, take one of these. Put that in your baseball mitt and smoke it. Stupid. You guys having fun over here, huh? How about the balcony? How are you guys doing? Anybody happy up there? Bunch of mis- miserable people in the cheap seats up there. All right, your next comedian goes by the name of Tyler Nissen, everyone. Tyler Nissen. Tyler Nissen is next. Here he comes. Hey! One more time for Tyler Nissen, Tyler! everybody. Come on. 
I, uh, I got my own apartment, and I got really lonely on my own, man. Like, one time I blared my music just so my neighbor would knock on my door. He was like, could you lower that? I was like, could you stay? He's like, I'll get the attendant. And I was like, great, I'll make a charcuterie. <laughs> Living on my own, dude. I, th I thought uh, it'd be really cool until I realized I just moved in with my thoughts. Those are the worst roommates ever. Like, at least my last roommates didn't look at my reflection and tell me, you look like if Mark Zuckerberg invented MySpace. <laughs> oh, I got more, I got more. <laughs> I, I used to work in sales. Uh, that's the worst job to do high. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried manipulating someone while stoned, but it is ineffective. <laughs> I'd call people, and they'd be like, oh, hello, and I'd be like, ha, <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, thank you. All right, Tyler Nissen. Very good. Hell yeah. Thank you. Tyler Nissen. You pronounced it correctly, yes. Incredible. Thanks, yes, man. Yes, indeed. It. How are you, Tyler? This is your first time on the show as it well, is. right? It How is. long have you been doing stand-up? About four years. Four years. Where are you from? Uh, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Woo! Michigan. Many people that work here. Uh, yeah. And have been on the show from Detroit. We famously had one of our that sounds wildest like Detroit, actually, episodes right there. ever <laughs> in Detroit. Um, so welcome, welcome. You yes. do not look like most people in Detroit. <laughs> no. Look at you. What are you doing? Arresting people? <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely the suburbs outside Detroit. But you okay. look like they hired you to fix the water in Flint. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I did he a looks like job. the cop that killed George Floyd. <laughs> He does. He actually does. Jesus! Ty Rivera said it, not me. <laughs> Raza Ghoul! Come on, man! My goodness. Absolutely Jesus. incredible. These people have alcohol poisoning at this table right here. I love it. Uh, Tyler Nissen, um, welcome, welcome. Thanks, Very man. interesting look to you. You look like a really, really, really big sperm. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what do you do for fun, Tyler? Tell us about your life. Oh, man. Uh, I don't do a lot for fun, but I can tell you, last year I went to Peru and did ayahuasca. Okay. And uh, that wasn't good. Yeah. Why, was, <laughs> why yeah. wasn't that good? Explain to us. Yeah, it turns out, don't, don't find your shaman on Reddit. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, no. Big learning lesson. Tell us all about it. Dude, uh, the guy turned out he wanted to start a cult, uh, thought he was God, all that shit, and uh, just classic 101. And uh, the medicine itself, really wild, fucking terrifying, but a really, really cool time. I mean, like, jaguar spirits surrounding you in the TP, getting cosmic surgery by alien robots, like... I, you're, you're, you're triggering PTSD with that shit, yeah, yeah. Did you, what, if, what effect did it have on you afterwards? Did you notice uh, a difference? Uh, I'm not gay anymore. Uh, <laughs> no, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tyler! It, I will say, it actually... I used to smoke weed every day for like 15 years, and uh, it cleared that up. And wow. Actually... Hey, what do you mean, cleared that up? <laughs> well, uh, like a dermatologist or something. I was like... Uh, you know, you got shit inside you that causes an addiction, and I was doing that for 15 years. And wow, what and are we just, talking about? You seem like you say that like you had like a real problem. I do. We's addictive. I don't give a shit what anyone says. That shit's addictive. And I so agree. I was, I was an everyday stoner, like just fucking sad. And now I'm, life's perfect, and everything's figured out. When you yeah. say, <laughs> oh shit, D Madness is pissed off right <laughs> I'm now. I'm sorry, bro. I appreciate you. I don't even know what he's saying, but yeah, he's mad. And that's why I stopped smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, D, stop yelling at me. Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. The guy doesn't. He does, oh, my God. It's getting louder. PCP in the weed. <laughs> when you say life is perfect now, Tyler, what exactly are you talking about? Tell us about your perfect little life. Your well, alarm goes off at what time? That was sarcasm. Oh, but okay. uh, my, I do have a good life, man. I got a fiance back home with a couple dogs, couple cats. Couple and, dogs, couple cats. Detroit, and, uh, Michigan. Have, are they, they have their own guns yet? Uh, yeah, we got guns. We got okay. guns. We got you guns. have guns. I have a gun. All right. Not here. Very good. And this yes. fiance of yours, what does she do? Uh, she's an underwriter at a credit union, remote job, just classic fucking shit. An underwriter? Yeah. Like an underwriter, she like approves loans. Yeah. 
Approves yeah. loans. Yes. Uh huh. Approved. Uh, yeah. Approves loans. Yes. Okay. And there's a there's a lot of that going on in Detroit. So she's literally like <laughs> yeah. a she's bad a, person. She's, she's like ruining people's lives. She declines. You're loans. totally gonna be able to repay this loan. <laughs> yeah. and then, it's twenty dollars. Don't worry about it right now. Yeah. 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 Absolutely amazing. Tyler, in your entire life, uh, what is something else that you do that is uh, that is like artistic or talent-wise? Uh, I do a couple things. I got voiceover, like a side business, and then... Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. A voiceover side business? I was trying to go full-time, and then like, ah, I realized I didn't really like it as much as I thought I would. What kind of voices can you do? It was... Ah, it's not like that. Like reading e-learning shit. Like boring, like... Oh, so you can do literally what... We can all do. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Wow. Exactly. Amazing. <laughs> it's wow. Not fun. You're like the yeah. Tom Cruise of Detroit. Yeah, yeah. That's I amazing. wish I looked like Tom Cruise, but yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, what else? What are else are some uh, of your amazing talents? I, so far, we know you know how to read normally. <laughs> I can read. I can write. Uh, I played guitar for a while. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah how, so long, how long ago? I played it. Uh, so I played it for like 10 years and then kind of drift away from it a little bit. Right. Mm-hmm. Ayahuasca. You yeah. Cleared it right up. The weed. Cleared up your guitar addiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Anything, anything weird about uh, your physical health or anything like that? Uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> uh, the redheaded strangler. Uh, I got like fucked up knee pain too. Okay. Like you do feet and shit. A little like I got flat feet. Yeah. You have flat feet. Yeah, it kind of oh hurts the whole system. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's not fun. Okay. Yeah. Neither yeah. was that fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's an, that was a sincere, sincere fact. I don't know if you wanted anything more exciting. I mean, oh, I mean I'm pretty I healthy, know. actually, to be honest. I feel pretty okay. good about that. I Tyler was really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. It was How long are you in you. town for? Uh, I'm playing it by ear a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I've been here since last Sunday. and I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday if you're welcome. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Holy shit. And you get a big joke book from the great Bonesai. There goes Tyler Nissen, everybody. Follow him on social media at Nyler Tissen. He switched the N and the T around. Oh, yeah, maybe, huh? You guys think we should go to this bucket one more time? Find a female comedian, huh? Let's even things out a little bit since we haven't gotten one up yet. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm guessing motherfucker Cruz is a guy. Sorry to Colton. Sorry to Corbin. Sorry to Steven. Sorry to Connor. Seth, Matthew. Cedar. Cedar Valencia? Is that. That's. Cedar. Cedar is a man. That's a man, right? Nikolai. Jesus. Justin. Kyle. Justin, it's Man. incredible. We need more women to sign up. King, King Row. Is King Row a woman? King Row? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're King Row? Let's hear it. I want to see a minute from you. Come on up here, King Row. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Not gonna lie, I almost tripped on that step right now. What's up, guys? I'm King Grove from San Antonio, Texas. I am a voice impressionist and a rapper from San Antonio. So I just told my dad that uh, I was gonna do stand up comedy for the first time and that I was freaking nervous. Sorry, I'm fat, I can't breathe. So I was. (laughs) I just told my dad that I was gonna do stand up comedy for the first time, that I was nervous. I was like, man, dad. I'm fucking sweating balls, man. I'm fucking nervous. And he's like, Mijo, don't worry. You'll be fine. Just be the normal dumbass that you are. <laughs> and I'm like, normal dumbass? I'm a dumbass all the time? He goes, oh, and if you fuck up, make sure you get somebody to record it too. <laughs> <laughs> I love my dad, man. He's gay, by the way. So, <laughs> so I told my dad that I was uh, going to be dating my first girlfriend after 14 years. And for him to give me a couple months, and I'd probably be married and, uh, you know, engaged and married. And he goes, well, give me about a couple months, too, and I'll probably find your new stepdad. Okay, King Row, <laughs> pushing it to the limit. 
Absolutely. Welcome to the show, King Row. Thank you. Absolutely. I pulled your name out. You jumped up from the normal audience portion, uh, and uh, I wanted to see what that's like. Was that your first time doing stand-up? Yes, sir. It is actually my first time. And, uh, there you go. Uh -huh. Pretty fun. Right. And you say that you're a voice impressionist, and then you went on. You did no impressions the entire time. My mind is completely blown. Yeah, I do voice impressions. I'm actually a rapper. The first rapper from San Antonio, Texas that got signed to Dope House Records in Houston, Texas. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Dope House Records, is that led by somebody or something? Uh, Dope we House should... Records, uh, I do the voice impression of SPM on TikTok. They found me on TikTok. And, uh, What's I that? The, What's SPM? SPM is, is South Park Mexican. It goes, yo, 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 what's up, man? This SPM. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, all right. What other impressions can you do? Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, are you ready? Estamos listos para un grupo profesional. Cuatro veces a los Grammys y los Tejano Music Awards. Oh, my goodness. You unlocked the code. You unlocked the Latino safe word. In all fairness, every beaner can do that impression. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. I'm I love just you guys. Because I feel like we serve time together. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. I can't tell which one would fuck who on this one, though. <laughs> Surprise twist is I'm actually his dad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. King Row, so is that what you do for a living? Are you a professional rapper? Yeah, I am actually a professional rapper. I'm actually on tour right now. I'm leaving to. Yakima, Washington this month uh, for two shows. Yakima, Washington, September 10th. September 16th, I'm performing in Pasco, Washington. Okay. All right. Well, at least I guarantee you at least four more people are going to show up to those shows now that you plug them here. Um, I got to hear a little bit of this rap. You want to tell the band to do a beat or a, a certain something? Yeah. Uh, SPM Wiggy. Oh, just, shit. Just, just this guy's calling beat. plays like Nick Saban just, fucking... Just, Week uh, 10, Corduroy Panther 36 and... Blitzkrieg on two on two. The band's like, oh, what? Just give me a beat. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from San Antonio, Texas. How does it go? Like, do it with your, make it with your mouth. Give them the beat. You know how to do that? Oh, shit. Yeah, there it is. He's got it. He's doing the bounce, everybody. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out. Oh. Uh. I be the coldest motherfucker, eat you up a supper, brew chugger lugger, I'm a one straight gunner from the south of San Texas, smoking soup in Texas, haters talking down but I'm a thrown ass mess and this is kill Tony, man uh, I ain't a phony, yo haters talking down but it smell like baloney, I'm the craziest, I'm in the studio like Hulu and Glacius, man hold them up baby, yo. Hell yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. absolutely. Holy shit! You're a real rapper. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. God damn. Yes! Most people come on, they say they're rappers, and then they do some weird shit. <laughs> you just actually rapped. My mind is blown. Appreciate it, man. Hell yeah. How long you been doing that for? Uh, I've been doing music 20 years now. Uh, I was actually on American Idol in 2009. Oh, the shit. The Voice in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, shit. In 2020. Right. And, uh... Still doing a lot, man. I'm doing, a, I'm acting. Were the several. judges nice to you on American Idol? What the fuck did Simon say about no, you? No, they weren't, man. This guy there was dressed up like fucking Batman beat me. Oh, like, no. <laughs> no telling, not all just dressed like fucking Batman, bro. And I was like, damn, what the fuck? Oh, no. Yeah. Batman beat Mexican Bane in a fucking talent <laughs> off. It's incredible. <laughs> Julio Iglesias. <laughs> I was born in the darkness, fool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. D Madness just said, <laughs> just said, so was I. God, I want to fist bump him so bad. <laughs> Wow, King Row, that's absolutely incredible. Thank you. 
What else? What else should we know about you before letting you um, go? I'm an actor. and uh, Really? You're an actor, too? Yes, yes, what oh my can't God. this guy do? This guy's unbelievable. Give us your best monologue. Yeah, come on. Show us some acting. Play, play, a, play a normal white guy that's ordering at a, a sandwich place. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Subway. How can I help you? I'm sorry, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This guy can do it all, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Make sure you see his shows. Follow him on social media. King Road Dope House Records. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely, King Row. Thank you so much. That's the type of random shit. We should still get a girl up here real quick, right? I got sidetracked. Now we're in the red. We're an extra long episode. I hope you guys don't mind. You guys still having fun out there? Jesus Christ. Okay, here's one. Make some noise for Sydney Stevens, everyone. Sydney Stevens. Has to be a girl, right? Yes. Here she comes. Come on, your final bucket pool of the night. Make some noise for Sydney, everybody. What the fuck is up, Austin? Fuck yeah. I'm originally from Texas, but I've been held captive in Minnesota for the past six years. Yeah, I'm also a disabled veteran. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we cheer for disability? <laughs> Appreciate the support. Um, I did one tour to Afghanistan, and wow, does that place make 6th Street look safe. <laughs> yeah. I'm single, that shouldn't be a surprise. But I've been single for so long, the DNR registered my vagina as a national forest. <laughs> Don't put Miracle Grow in your bush. And like, I know why I'm single. It's me. I suck. No, seriously, I, I used to vape competitively. <laughs> yeah, I fucking suck, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the fact that I have a vape shop logo tattooed on my arm, or the fact that the state of Wisconsin is included in that logo. <laughs> I'm not even from there, I don't live there. Wow, what a performance. Sydney Stevens, everybody. Come on, make some noise for Sydney, everyone. I pulled and pulled, I had to pull so many names out of the bucket to get to you, and you might be the least feminine lady we've had on this show in a while. When I saw you come up here, I'm like, oh, she's gonna eat all of our pussies right now. This is incredible. That was how she got her combat injury. <laughs> Sydney Stevens, that was an amazing performance. How long have you been doing stand-up? Thank you, uh, six months. Six months, incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's awesome. You're really good at it. Thank you. Very, very natural, nice, calm delivery, common sense jokes that really have to do with your life. I loved all of it. You're making fun of yourself. You're referencing your uh, service that you've done. What uh, branch of the military were you in? Uh, I was in the Army, active duty. Okay, active duty. Very good. Uh, what? And you've been single for a while, you said. I have. Why is that, do you think? Why do you think you've been single so long? Follow-up question, what's dustier, Afghanistan or your pussy? <laughs> your pussy. She answered very quickly there. She answered very, very quickly. And any guy that's been in there wants to commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, or they already have. <laughs> It is, they get there, they're like, I'd rather be in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about it, Sydney. Uh, why do you think you're single? Do you, you date men? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I date everyone. <laughs> Todd, you might you're have out. better luck on the other side. I know, I've, I've been called a sturdy lady a lot. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, to answer your question, uh, I make 
bad decisions. Okay. Yeah, and I don't like people. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. You're a straight lady over there in Afghanistan, surrounded by testosterone-fueled, uh, you know, American absolute killers. Uh, we, we, is, is it possible to be sexually active out there with guys like that? I mean, were you a fleshlight? <laughs> Jesus. Red, Red band. What the fuck? Maybe she was. Maybe that's how she got hurt. How did you know? <laughs> uh, no. You're not supposed to. It's against the rules. Right. But it happened when I was overseas. Right. Indeed. I didn't do it, but... Other people did. Other people did, but I paid the price. (laughs) Why did you pay the price? No, I said I paid the price. We all had to dig trenches with our bare hands because our squad mate got caught sleeping with the NCO and got pregnant. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Oh, shit. Little fucking, uh, what do they call that? Uh, Somebody had to scoop out those holes. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. Little bit of that honorable discharge. You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) Took me me a second there. We got it, though. Got a good nap in today. I was able to remember the hacky bullshit that I thought of a second earlier. Um, I love it. You're so, so cool. Is this something you've always wanted to do, stand-up comedy? Yeah. I've it's incredible. You remind me of, like, Ronda Rousey, but you actually you actually land your punches, so it's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said it. Fuck you, Ronda Rousey. <laughs> uh, so you've always wanted to be a stand-up comedian? Yeah, ever since I was a kid, I like grew up watching Comedy Central specials. I love it. My grandparents love like Richard Pryor's. I grew up watching. Hell yeah! What else great. do you do? What do you do for fun? Um, what type I, of motorcycle do you have? A '97 <laughs> Dyna Wide Glide. Really? Hundred <laughs> percent. Thank you. That's another one for me. Cross Where? that off your Kill Tony bingo cards, <laughs> bitches. Where do you bat in the lineup on softball? Third, <laughs> consistent on base with a lot of power. Yeah, and I'm, I'm was a catcher. <laughs> Hell yeah! You I seem like relate. the type. <laughs> you seem like the type of woman that has a messy apartment. Am I correct? No, you're not. Right, stellar, completely clean. <laughs> Military. I'm the cleanest of my roommates. Oh, how many roommates do you have? Two. I'm okay. So All right. Very good. How'd you How'd you hurt your knee? <laughs> <laughs> um, when I was overseas, a sands <laughs> Sandstorm. Blue. Oh, thank God you said storm. Oh my God, I thought. Oh my God. No, 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 no. There was a long pause there after sand. Oh my goodness. Thought you were having flashbacks to being with the troops. These goddamn sand storms are. Uh, these storms keep making me mad. They're everywhere. All right, so a sandstorm kicked up. A sandstorm blew it. And this is when you opened your legs at one yes, point, right? Yes, this is where all the dust came. Right, and, okay. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Sorry, did some get on you? Sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a sandstorm blew what's called a Hesco wall bar- barrier over on my squad. Esco wall barrier. I think that's if one of my favorite Call vape Duty, pens. You know what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, you liked my vape pen joke. You got that. Was it true when you said you're a competitive vaper? Yeah. Oh my God. What I does was. that mean? Do you have a vape pen on you? I do. Can we see you competitively vape? Yes! This is amazing. Yes! This is a first. This All is right. a first in Kill Tony history. Can, we've we've can never I, had a professional uh, white. It's, it's can, not that big, but I'll, I'll try my best. Can the band play 311? <laughs> you guys know any 311? <laughs> okay, here she is. She's inhaling on the vape. Oh my goodness, she's doing. S- Whoa! Oh! Whoa! That's incredible. That's hard to do, though. There's an actual air current here. You had to, like, aim that. Yeah, that was, that was really hard there, Flo. Wow, my goodness. More. <laughs> it's incredible. Yes, the people in the balcony didn't see. Um, very interesting. That's a real thing? Competitive vaping? It was. It's not anymore, thank God. Why isn't it anymore? 
Uh, because of these guys right here, these little devices. Oh, they changed the game. They did. Right. They the game. People kept getting popcorn long, right? Yeah. The big ones. Yep. Now they do it. Uh, <laughs> now they make them uh, handy. That's why I stick to old school. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I used to. So w- you say that uh, you're super single. How often do you go on dates with guys? Um. <sighs> I mean, I am kind of seeing someone, but we're, like, in that stage where we're not, like, dating, you know, that fun... Do you stage. often out-alpha these guys? Do you think that's a part of why it is, right? No <laughs> doubt about it. One time I had to change my date's tire. Oh, no. <laughs> that's it, homie. You're done, bro. Wow. That is it. Fucking call AAA, fake faint, do anything. Do anything, fake a heart attack, anything. You can't say, oh no. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> oh my God, he's probably gay now. He probably went gay, he's like, fuck this. He's somewhere getting pegged right now. Yeah. <laughs> he went to tire changing school later that week. I did, uh, I did peg him. I do oh him. wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. I'm looking, I'm looking at some of my gay friends in the audience. They look very <laughs> excited about this. <laughs> tell, tell us what that's like pegging a guy. Is, does that get messy at all? Not if you do it right. Wow, how do you do it? Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta use a lot of lube, a lot of foreplay. Wow. Yeah, it, it feels really great to be on top. You know? Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Is, is this not, not your first time in a war zone? No. <laughs> Not my first time in a foxhole. It, it must be nice to have it reversed to where you're giving someone PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to wear your knee brace afterwards. <laughs> Is this scented lube? Was it scented lube? Nothing. <laughs> Red band. Oh, did I taste it? No. no. Red band. What no. the fuck are no, you sir. talking about? <laughs> no, sir. Um, all right, Sydney, give us one more fun fact about your life that we would find interesting. You're such a great guest. An yeah. amazing performance. Six Thank months you. in the game. Yeah. Thank you so much. The show yeah. really yeah. kicked it up at the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, shit. I'm like drawing a blank on everything interesting. What's about the me? longest set you've ever done in your six months of being a stand up comedian? 17 minutes. 17 Whoa. minutes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Red Band? I'd love to have you open up the secret show. <laughs> Oh my goodness. A goddamn American hero just got booked on a real Austin, Texas comedy show. Make some noise for Sydney Stevens, everybody. Sydney, take one of these. That's a handmade leather joke book by the great Bones Eye. Sydney Stevens, everyone. Follow her at Sydney Stevens Comedy, Sydney with an I. Now, just when you think that it can't get any better than that, and you've seen the two regulars that famously moved to Austin, Texas, now is the moment where I tell you that I have really, really exciting news. Another one of the Kill Tony regulars has moved to Austin, Texas. He hasn't been on this show in months. He is a very, very, very big deal, an unbelievable stand-up comedian, famous for his roasting. He is the newest resident of Austin, Texas. This is David Lucas. The return of a legend. Texas is own. Yeah. I just recently went to Alaska, and I found out that they got 18 hours of sunlight. And I'm like, damn, that'd be a horrible place to be a slave. (laughs) For real. Like, you imagine you've been picking cotton 12 hours and a nigga say, You got six more? It's like, God damn. I bet them slaves was happy as hell come daylight savings time. 
It's like, hey, boy, the sun go down next week at 4.30. You sure about that, boss? I like slavery, man. I do, man. It's, yeah, I, I can't wait till we go into slavery again. You know, I'll be a trustee nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'll be a, I'll be a house nigga on the inside snitching like a bitch, boy. I, I, for a glass of lemonade, I'll draw the master a map, nigga. I, <laughs> All right, man. Thank y'all. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Every week, it seems, another one of the best comedians in the country moves here to Austin, yeah. Texas, and David Lucas, literally yeah. his first Monday as a resident here in Austin. This is yeah. so, so exciting. An unbelievable set. We haven't seen you in a few months, so that yeah. was absolutely nuclear. Thank that you, was man. incredible. I mean... Why you got that uh, smooth-ass shirt on, dog? You know, like, hey, what are you talking about? What the fuck? You, you dress like a gay cat burglar. Oh... <laughs> You know, I thought we could. I thought we could catch up a little bit. Nah, you're just gonna. That, man. You, you're just gonna jump right into it. You break into niggas' houses to smell their boxers. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck is that water-resistant shit you got on, motherfucker? <laughs> the fuck, that, mother... <laughs> that ain't Under Armour. That's Under Booty, nigga. <laughs> oh my god! How dare you! The fuck is that? Does that have a hood to it? What the yeah, hell? yeah, it has a hood on it. Oh, yeah, come yeah, on, Ian, that's... don't, Ian, don't jump <laughs> in. Don't, don't team up on me like this. Right, that's that's made for a gay orgy, nigga. That's oh that. my. That's so you don't get no KY jelly on your back, nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> KY is the only jelly David doesn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> you are un. Tony, you're going to be responsible for the uh, monkeypox outbreak in Austin, nigga. <laughs> your, your ass out here biting niggas on the booty and shit. <laughs> oh my god that is incredible <laughs> David Lucas coming off of a big week Ann Haish accidentally ran her car into him last weekend so <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I seen Tony before kill Tony getting the STD check for the fuck of it <gasps> wait what <laughs> you just wanted a dick swab for no reason Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, my boy, god. I get STD checks, you get KFC checks. <laughs> when Tony meet a new man, he does it just like a dog. He sniffed their ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that one's actually funny because it's true. Uh, <laughs> I don't know for those of you that have met me. I met you earlier. I met you earlier. You got a you got a real you got a real New York. Uh, can really smell the uh, subway station on your ass. <laughs> Speaking of subway, David Lucas is still on stage. This is a man who was deeply offended at the guy that didn't know how to order sandwiches earlier. I could hear him yelling. I could hear him yelling. They called you on uh, the stand at the Jared Fogle trial. <laughs> You know, he was touching little boys. <laughs> so you live here in Austin now. Yeah. Uh, you must be so, so excited. What, uh, yeah, what's going on? Tell us about it. Shit, waiting on my new furniture. Ashley Furniture fucked me over. Oh, shit. Yeah, I hope they see this, you bitch-ass motherfuckers. Yep. Yep. Ashley Furniture, you I fucked up. ain't making none of them payments. They made Hell yeah. Late, bro. You think you're mad now? Wait till you sit on your couch for the first time. <laughs> you're like, what the fuck? I spent all this money on this. <laughs> Tony, your skinny ass. You use a Starbucks cup lid for... <laughs> you didn't even have to finish that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Skinny ass, use a Starbucks cup. Yeah, good night, yeah. thank you. That was amazing. Sometimes you just need a good setup. Right, right. With that, with that little bit up. of booty. So what are you? What are you excited here? You're you're here. You're in Austin, the home yeah, of man. Whataburger and H E B. Yeah. What you call it is better, uh, Pete Terry's. 
Okay. I still haven't tried Pete Terry's, believe it or not. It's the only place I haven't tried. The locals get mad at me when I tell them that I haven't tried it yet. I'm not a big oh fast food guy. Because that's the straight part of town. That's why you don't go over Oh, there. okay, yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I only go to Gay Burgers down the street. Uh, there actually is. There's a Gay Burger joint. It's called Ass Burgers. Yeah. I love it. You, I, know, I know why you like uh, in and out Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was mad the first time I tried it. I'm like, it, I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't go <laughs> as in and out as I thought it would, because I tried to eat it with my butt, yeah, Tony. with my gaping butthole that's uh, that's open from all the things that have been inside uh, of it. Tony got a new restaurant God, called geez. Dick Fillet. That's actually, that's actually, that again. Sometimes some of the things he says are just true. Some of them aren't even jokes. <laughs> it is incredible. I mean, absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, man. I love it. What part of town are you living in? Shit, right down here downtown on Congress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Like six minutes from here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's good. The rare black man in Congress. We've <laughs> seen this before. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out here, boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. He is a leader in the community. I call him uh, Martin Luther King size. <laughs> oh, wow. I activated the backlights there. Not really qualified. Yeah, lights didn't match up with the song. He's a leader all. in the black community. I call him Malcolm XXXL. I'm trying to see if I got one for gay. Let's see. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. For those of you that don't Damn. know, I'm a white gay guy and he's a fat black man. <laughs> and we make fun of each other yeah. back and forth. Yeah, we, we have to. Except, <laughs> except I'm actually not gay and he actually is fat. <laughs> so when, when all the jokes are over, David Lucas. Tony, and, you're, you're not gay, you're homosexual. Okay, all right. There's <laughs> a difference. <laughs> You son of a... You just couldn't let me get the last one in, could you? Hell no. Nah. That's true. I'm a homo, and you're more of a house of pancakes kind of guy. <laughs> it's a home house joke, I guess. Yeah, it, it works. Thank you. Thank you, one guy. Thank you so much. It's going to help me sleep at night. I'm going to be like, well, that one guy loved it. Yeah, no. David, I seriously, uh, you know, the regulars on this show, it's all a big, crazy, diabolical family. I don't yeah. think any group of people have ever really done anything quite like this before right. ever. And uh, I cannot express, especially with, um, you know, with, uh, with of course, Michael Lair being out of commission as of late right. and uh, everything that's been going on with the show. I am so thrilled that you moved here. Thank We're going to have so Thank much fun together. Oh. A great way to kick it off. That's David Lucas, everybody. We did it. Guys, how about a hand for my guests, Ian Fidens and Ty Rivera, everybody. Listen to Ian's podcast, Being Ian, and Bye Guys with Zach Amico, and listen to Ty Rivera's podcast, Unbothered with Ty Rivera. An unbelievable evening. Did you guys have fun? The drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt is in. Check out all those prints at ryanjebelt.com. He draws every single episode. And how about one more time for the best band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, brought to you by Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. The great Michael Gonzalez on the drums, John Dees on the keys, Matt Muling on electric, and the great D Madness on the bass guitar. We did it again. The, the official Kill Tony after party starts now uh, here at... Um, at uh, at uh, Vulcan Gas Company here in Austin, Texas. Yes, and shout out, rest in peace to the late, great Teddy Ray, a How big cool friend of the show that passed away this week. I love you, Teddy. Aw, there you go. Uh, you can unlock your phones, hang out, enjoy yourselves, people. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you.